I wanted to take a quick few minutes and, and give you a preview of what we'll be showing down in Florida at the Filebound Conference with uh, SciGen SciCapture. And um, really what we focus on is helping our partners and resellers drive revenue with unique advanced capture solutions. Now we all know that, uh, that Filebound has a front-end scan and basic capture utility, but what we do with SciCapture is we give you a really powerful, feature-rich front-end that helps you fill the gaps and really build some niche solutions that can help you solve complex business problems with your, your customers and actually help you in the sales process to differentiate yourself. So truly a Swiss Army uh, knife of capture uh, that can fill all those gaps. Now I'm going to talk briefly about five different scenarios that we're seeing market growth for our, uh, for our partners. The first one is document harvesting and migration. So let's go ahead and define that. Really, document harvesting is our, in our product is the ability to consume file folders worth of documents and images, process them, and then post them into Filebound. So you're taking content from point A and moving it to point B. Okay. Now, this harvesting capability is enabled in every license that you purchase of SiteCapture. It's included in the core functionality of the product, and it gives you some real power to extract metadata from folder and file names without any custom code or having to, to custom build a kind of a clunky solution to make it happen. So we can harvest uh, information from the file names and folders. We can read data from PDF forms and PDF headers. We can read photograph information, TIFF headers. And once we gather that information, we can run DB lookups. We can use our pattern matching, extraction, and classification technology. And then we've also got a scripting engine. Some of our partners have written some really complex code to do some, uh, some really unique classification as we're harvesting files and posting them into the backend repository. Okay. Now, one of the key components in SciCapture that really helps is something that we call intelligent routing, or I also like to refer to it as dynamic data. So once I collect information about a document, whether it's a characteristic or some piece of metadata that I want to send to index fields in Filebound, I can also use that information to auto set divider, separator, routing criteria, uh, file name, description, and notes all of those can be dynamically processed and added and different for every single document in the batch. Okay, So it's a very dynamic way to build a repository in Filebound um, after harvesting all these different documents. Okay, Now those of you who aren't familiar uh, with our integration, we've been a great partner with Filebound for a long time. Our integration is uh, unmatched out there in the market from a uh, um, the way that we leverage their API. And we can set all different types of criteria and really give you fine-grained control in how we talk to uh, the Filebound repository. So let's talk about Solution 2. And, and Solution 2 is somewhat similar to document harvesting, but we're seeing a lot of folks with legacy content management systems migrating to cloud-based systems like Filebound. Now, what our product does, and the difference here between, uh, between the harvesting capability, we're not grabbing files here. We're actually grabbing a CSV file with all the paths of the files that need to be posted into Filebound. So let's say you're migrating someone off Documentum or FileNet, and you want to grab that exported data file consume it with SciCapture, bring in the data and the file automatically, we give you the ability to ingest that CSV file and process from start to finish again. Okay, so a really, really powerful um, capability. A lot of different migrations going on with, with this type of functionality. Now the nice thing is, once I consume that information, I can use all the SciCapture methods of lookups, extraction, processing, as well as that custom routing that I talked about um, to go ahead and fill in the gaps and maybe add additional metadata as I process the documents. Okay, So that's two methods. Let's talk about three. Um, SciCapture version 5 we called the forms release and in that version we added a ton of forms processing capability that really gives you some uh, some 
some uh, decent power in, in processing forms. The first method of forms is uh, processing is, is classification. So we've actually got a classification engine in the product that is very inexpensive that you can use to process forms, apply custom extraction methods based on the forms that we process, and then route them into filebound. So that's one method of forms processing that we can do. We've also got the ability in the product to pull information out of true PDF forms. We can actually reach inside the PDF, pull out forms information. Okay, So if you've got digitally created PDFs, you want to extract metadata and map it into Filebound, we can do that with our product as well. Surveys and tests. We've seen a, a, a really big push towards a lot of providers providing um, new solutions for uh, Scantrons, a uh, lot of government surveys that are being processed, and we use our optical mark engine to read those bubble forms, process them, and post. And these are everywhere from, like I said, government census forms, hospital surveys that are, that are all now a part of the Affordable Care Act. So you've really got a strong survey and uh, test processing engine. Number four, enhanced document services. So in SciCapture, in core functionality of the product, you've got things like redaction. We've got several methods of document redaction that you can provide. Everything from um, basic template redaction, we can do pattern slash OCR based redaction. Um, we can do field based redaction, where maybe we take a person's name and auto redact it. The other thing that we've got is the ability to output both redacted and non-redacted copy, depending on the destination repository. So some neat things you can do with redaction. Bait stamping or page numbering, very powerful engine that's included in, once again, the core uh, functionality of SciCapture that lets you do um, stamping of page numbers as well as custom stamps on any border of the document. Watermarking. We can actually do manual watermarking with text. We even have the capability to um, link to an image file. So if you've got a county that wants to put the county seal on every document and watermark, or you've got a government entity that wants to stamp confidential or draft onto docs, we can do that with the product really easily. Security has really uh, been moved to the forefront uh, lately, especially with a lot of the, the confidentiality issues that we've seen out there. With SciCapture, we've got built-in PDF encryption. We can even auto-password the PDFs created from index fields or database lookups. All right, So we can now distribute PDFs via our email migration or put them into Filebound and lock them down with uh, usernames and passwords image processing. We've got a ton of image processing capabilities. You can do conversion between different formats. You can resize. Uh, we've got a binarization engine that'll make things black and white. We've even got banks that are auto extracting signature blocks from signature cards. Okay, so lots of lots of really powerful features that we can uh, that we can utilize uh, within SciCapture. Now the last one that I covered is, is something that's relatively new that we're seeing and a lot of our uh, customers and resellers are using our product for business intelligence and extraction, extraction of data from documents. Okay, Once they get that information they can analyze it. So there's a number of ways to do that. We can harvest data from documents. We've got the ability in the product to actually pack the OCR contents into an index field. And then that field can be posted to a database or a field within an ECM system. We can output it to all different types of databases. Okay, so lots of things we can do with that. And then lastly, um, with our EFF module, uh, you get the ability to ingest not only images, but all different types of digital files. So I can actually grab um, a text file or a text-based email and then auto-extract metadata from that document. 
I can use uh, smart zones to grab the paragraphs above and below a word. We've got some cancer research institutions that are using our product to, uh, to actually grab text around something like the word sarcoma so that they can do research and run analytics um, against a, a database that contains all that information. So lots of flexibility in, in this as well for uh, business intelligence and analysis. So that's it. Uh, gave you about 10 minute preview of the types of things that you can come by along with all the traditional document scanning and capture capabilities. Come by and see some ways that you can really generate revenue uh, with advanced capture down there in Florida. Come by the booth and, uh, and say hi. Have a great day.